I've been kind of laughing at it because I whole five sticks with me everywhere I go and I usually use two, sometimes three. And uh, I'm getting just above the cattails. Any any higher, I'm going to be a, a stick out like a, be a beacon. But uh, uh, a lot of times I'm not very high at all in the swamps. I'd like to be, you know, you, you know, I like to have five sticks along if I need them, I use them. But uh, in swamps, I usually average probably three sticks. Um, I'd like to be up four, but often I'm only up two, you know, so I'd probably average three sticks, which is probably, you know, um, 15 feet or so. Uh, the other day I had a hunt, I was out with uh, Eric and we went out and hunted an area and uh, I got my stand up. Uh, what I was doing is I was going through um, a bedding area that I knew of that was in uh dense cattails way remote but had some high spots with some trees in there and stuff and we had scouted it in the spring um uh, video we called never never land and uh i went in there and what i'm figuring out is those deer the bucks can't get through those cattails very well and you could tell bucks weren't going down the trails the does are going down because they're going down and they they're, they're following the little grass islands which are tiny but you can see them on aerials if you zoom in you could see the difference between the grass and the cattails and there's like these little island passages of grass that the bucks can travel on you can see the sign told you that's, that's what you're doing so i went from one spot um and i moved to the next um and it was a grassy opening like that and uh i didn't know what i'd have for trees because i hadn't hunted that and just kind of briefly walked through it while scouting but where i needed to be based on the wind and stuff there was one tree i could get in well, there's maybe two I could have done, but there's one that just had the best option. And, uh, man, I could only get that stick, that stand up. Um, I don't know. I'd say it's probably about eight feet, maybe nine, but I could reach up and grab the stand from the ground. And, uh, I got the stand in there and it's little, you know, trees this big around, but it got me up high enough. I could shoot over the cattails into the holes. Uh, you couldn't do it on the ground. And uh, you sit there and you feel like you're, you know, like you're that light on the top of the um, water tower, you know, like everything's going to see you. Yeah. Over and over again. And I can't stress this enough. You feel like that. It's kind of the, the fat girl thing. You feel like that. But the truth is, that's a spot where deer have never smelt or seen a person that don't expect it at all. And if you can just blend in with those branches long enough to get an arrow in them, I think you're fine. And experience has taught me that. 